It's the Daily 304's presentation of famous people, places, and events that shaped West Virginia. Welcome to the History Project. Today we take a look at A Prelude to War The Battle of Point Pleasant, Part 1 The Battle of Point Pleasant was the only skirmish of Lord Dunmore's war, a conflict that unfolded from May to October in 1774 and the culmination of hostilities that had been brewing for years. The English colonies stayed mainly along the coast under the pretense they had no interest in western land. King George III even signed the Royal Proclamation of 1763 to make the Appalachian Mountains the dividing line with native territory. But as settlers continued to cross the mountains, conflicts between the English and natives precipitated a new agreement, the Treaty of Fort Stanwix, moving the boundary west to the Ohio River. However, this only created new hostilities as the Crown negotiated this treaty with the Iroquois instead of the Shawnee and Mingo, who actually controlled the region. These clashes came to a head in April 1774 when Virginians crossed the Ohio River to slaughter the family of Soyoktawa, known historically as Chief Logan, a Cayuga orator and Mingo leader famous for maintaining peace with white settlers. But these events incurred his wrath and with Shawnee allies, Logan unleashed a reign of terror on Virginia and Pennsylvania. In Virginia's colonial capital, Williamsburg, John Murray, the fourth Earl of Dunmore, had become exasperated with the constant conflict along the Ohio River. He dissolved the impotent House of Burgesses and organized two troops to march to the Ohio country to broker new peace. Lord Dunmore led one troop himself to Fort Pitt with plans to sail down the Ohio River while Colonel Andrew Lewis led his troops from Camp Union to the mouth of the Kanawha, where both brigades were to rendezvous before crossing the Ohio. What happened next forever changed the relations of not just settlers and natives, but between the colonists and the Crown.